Here, I'm measuring the wires and stripping the ends ready to solder them. This probably took the most amount of time. I thought we had wire strippers, but as it turns out, the hole in them was too big, so I'm gently trying to cut off the plastic without snipping the strands. I decided to use stranded wire instead of solid, as the majority of the projects I'll be doing in the future will be in small spaces, and I want to be able to bend and have movement in the wire. My first big job was removing the resistor from the circuit board by melting the solder and pulling it out the back, which is way easier said than done. I didn't realise how quickly solder dries. I then soldered the wires into the two holes I removed the resistor from. To be able to adjust the pitch, I chose to use a 1M linear potentiometer I chose a linear as I wanted the dial to be even and I wanted to have more control over it. I added some solder to the one outside peg and middle peg of the potentiometer and attached the other ends of the two wires to it. Next I decided I wanted to attach a jack socket to be able to plug the toy into my computer and add effects to it. This is the jack socket, I bought a 3 pin stereo in hopes that one day I'll be working with stereo sound. Don't quite know how that works yet, but I thought it was better than mono. It has three strips of metal through the middle which are attached to the right side of the socket and leaning on the left side. So when you plug the jack lead in, the three strips of metal lift up from the left side which breaks the circuit and forms a new loop with the jack lead. I unsoldered the speaker wires from the circuit board and soldered the minus wire to the back peg and the plus wire to the middle peg of the left side of the jack socket. I then soldered new wires to the circuit board and attached the plus wire to the back peg and the minus wire to the middle peg of the right side. That way, we lose connection with the speaker when it's plugged into the computer or paddles, but we regain control of it and it can be used as a standalone instrument when it's unplugged. I don't have a drill yet, so I have to leave the toy open to play with it, but when I get one I plan to drill holes and have the jack socket out the back and the potentiometer around the front with the rest of the buttons. It, it works. So I'm hoping this will work. It did a big thing. How do we know? You can't place it. It's clipping like fuck. Can you play something? So it's coming, something's coming through. Should we have a look? Let's open a logic. What I can do. Need no way. Is that first go? Yeah. Oh my god. Do a twist, do a hold. Yeah.
That sounds fucking sick. Thank you.